Hello my friends, welcome to Kurt Berglund's Baseball World. Today I am very excited to bring you a demo of a couple of new sets for Here is the Pitch Baseball. These are the all-time all-star sets that Dominic is creating. And these have not been um, on my channel before. They are very recently released. We're going to show you the um, roster cards for each set. Uh, and play a game between set seven and set eight of his wonderful uh, all-time all-star sets. Uh, if you are interested in the most recent Here's the Pitch Flyer uh, from uh, Dominic, I can send that to you if you just send me an email at berglund.curt at yahoo.com. I will um, send that flyer off to you so you get the latest product information um, and how to order everything. Here's the pitch is a wonderfully economical part of our hobby and the game is wonderful as well, giving me some great results and a lot of fun. I hope you've been watching along on my channel. If you're interested in channel membership on my channel, uh, you get a lot of good stuff. You get discounts on the secondary store, free PDFs every month of cards that I create, and uh, members-only exclusive videos. Uh, check out the link in the description for this video, and you can learn all about becoming a member of my channel. Thanks for your support. All right, let's get to taking a look at these two sets. This is the roster card for set seven. It comes with the set. Ernie Lombardi, Thurman Munson, Norm Cash, Dick Allen, Joe Gordon, Jeff Kent, Lou Whitaker, Archie Vaughn, Joe Crone, and Adrian Beltre, Judd Wilson, Turkey Stearns, Oscar Charleston, Louis Gonzalez, Jose Bautista, George Foster, Albert Bell, and Jim Rice. Pitchers, John Smoltz, Joe McGinnity, Ed Walsh, Jim Bagby, Jim Bunning, Juan Marichal, Hal Neuhauser, and the Eck, Dennis Eckersley. That's set seven. Here's set eight. Yvonne Rodriguez, Gary Carter, Mark McGuire, David Ortiz, Craig Biggio, Martin Digo, Rabbit Marinville, Joe, Joe Sewell, Joe Tinker, Scott Rowland, George Kell, Fred Lynn, Early Combs, Tim Raines, Andre Dawson, Carlos Beltran, Reggie Sanders, Steve Finley, and then the pitchers, Chief Bender, Jack Morris, Tommy John, Fergie Jenkins, Red Ruffing, Tony Mullane, Mullaney, Mullaney, Mike Mussina, and Ron Paranoski. The lineups for today's game um, go like this. For the visitors, which will be uh, set seven, Norm Cash is going to lead off at first base. Joe Gordon bats second at second base. Oscar Charleston bats third. He'll play center. Albert Bell, don't call him Joey, uh, will play left field and bat cleanup. Joe Cronin bats fifth. He'll play short. Jim Rice bats sixth. He'll be in right field today. Adrian Beltre bats seventh. He'll be at third. And Thurman Munson bats eighth. He'll do the catching. On the mound, I selected Juan Marichal. So we have to roll for his pitcher's hitting card. Um, which one he'll use? It's a six. So it'll be card number one for Marichal. I'm just going to write that here. So it'll be card one for Juan Marichal. And there is his pitcher card. And next will be home team, team number eight today. Craig Biggio leads off at second base. Tim Raines bats second. He'll play left field. Carlos Beltran will bat third and play right field. Mark McGuire bats fourth. He'll be at first base. George Kell bats fifth. He'll play third. 
Fred Lynn bats six. He'll be in center field. Ivan Rodriguez bats seventh. He'll catch. And Joe Tinker will bat eighth and play shortstop. On the mound, I selected Fergie Jenkins today. So we'll roll for his pitcher hitting card. Roll to seven. And so that'll be card number two for Fergie. I'm going to write that on the score sheet here so I don't forget. Alrighty. And there is a look at his pitcher card. All right. So we are ready to go with some Here's the Pitch Baseball. Gonna need, um, gonna roll five dice on each roll. The red, white, and blue dice uh, go to tell us uh, the result on the card. These may or may not be needed, but I'm gonna roll them every time anyway, so we get everything done in one roll. Uh, they help identify where the outs are. Uh, in some cases, we will need to look at those. Uh, red, white, and blue. So the red die tells us one, two, or three columns, or the four, five, and six columns. And then we add, or then we combine the white and the blue dice. The white die is the tens digit, the blue die is the ones digit, and that's how we do. Here's the pitch baseball. Here's Norm Cash against Fergie Jenkins. And we are underway. Uh, in this one, it's a 651. And so we have a we have a rare play check, first of all, or a called strike. It's a called strike. So the next so cash is behind in the count on one. Next delivery. So Norm Cash is a 455. And that is lifted to right field. Under this one is uh, Carlos Beltran, and he's going to make the catch for out number one. Joe Gordon coming to the play now. Indian and Yankee star. Uh, 4-13 for the right-hander is lifted in the air. Again to right field. Beltran toward the line is going to make the catch, and there's two gone in the top of the first. And now maybe, I don't know, maybe the greatest player ever, Oscar Charleston against Fergie. 656 uh, for the left-hander is grounded to Craig Biggio to his left, gloves it, throws to Mark McGuire. And that will end inning number one with three up and three down for Fergie. Juan Marichal. How many times did Fergie and Juan Marichal hook up in the 60s and 70s? Biggio, Reigns, and Beltran coming up. Pitch to Craig Biggio is a 251. Hey, struck him out on the broccoli cauliflower medley. A gas from Juan Marichal this fine afternoon. Here comes Reigns. Delivery from Marichal is a 356. Uh, this is hit in the air to right field. Uh, Jim Rice in his tracks is going to make the catch for out number two. And Carlos Beltran. Maybe borderline Hall of Famer. You can tell me what you think in the comments. A 114 is a ball, but we have a rare play chance, and we have a rare play. All right. Haven't had one for a while, but we rolled a 10, and that tells us that there is a rare play. So now we're going to roll... Uh, Our red die for the outcome. We're looking at 10, 4. The next batter swings and misses at the pitch. The bat goes in the opposing dugout. 
The offensive manager may select any player except the pitcher to be out for the remainder of the game. Alright, so first we have to finish this at bat. <coughs> and we have a 614 Beltron grounds it to second base, and that's Joe Gordon. He cuts it off from going up the middle, plants, and throws to Norm Cash for the out. All right, so Albert Bell is going to lose control of his bat. It goes in the opposing dugout. The offensive manager may select any player except a pitcher to be out for the remainder of the game. So... That means anybody from set eight can be out for the remainder of the game because these guys are in the field. At least that's how I'm reading that. So we're going to say that the bat is going to nail. Jeez, I don't know. Uh, we'll say Big Poppy. Gets nailed by the bat, and he is out for the remainder of the game. All right, here's the next delivery from Jenkins to Albert. Don't call me Joey Bell. It's a 243, and that's a 7. That's a ground ball to Craig Biggio. He gloves it, throws to McGuire, and there's one down in the second. Joe Cronin. 656, 556 is another chance for Craig Biggio. He makes the play and throws on to McGuire for out number two. And Jim Rice, 532. Hey, struck him out. And the first strikeout for Fergie. Gets him with the gas. Six up and six down for Fergie to start the game. Bottom of the second coming. We got no score. Marischal will face McGuire. Kell and Lynn. Righty, righty, lefty. For team number eight. Marischal kicks and deals. 325. Hey, struck out McGuire in a bender. Mark didn't like those curveballs. One down on the second inning. Here's the delivery to George Kell. 561. Kell lifts it to left. Under this one is Albert Bell, and he'll make the catch for out number two. And now Fred Lynn with Johnson and nobody aboard. 116. Lynn hits this one to Joe Gordon, who makes a nice play. Throws to Norm Cash, and that'll retire Team 8. So six up and six down. 4-1 Marischal as well. Now Fergie gets his third inning. It'll be Adrian Beltre, Thurman Munson, Juan Marichal. In the bottom of the third, seven, eight, nine batters. Fergie winds and deals. 145. And that is a chance for George Kell. George Kell's defense is a three. It's popped up in fair territory. George Kell will take it for out number one. Thurman Munson, the captain, the pitch. 363. It's to right field, but not deep. Under it is Carlos Beltran, and there's two down. Juan Marichal hitting card number one is a 14. Hey, struck him out. He had no chance on a Fergie Jenkins fastball. 
Nine up and nine down for Fergie. All right, we'll see if Marischal can continue to match him. Got a good one going here. Brand new sets for Here's the Pitch Baseball. Yvonne Rodriguez, Joe Tinker, Fergie Jenkins, 789. 163. And a five is hit on the ground to Joe Gordon. He's up with it. And throws to Norm Cash for out number one. Joe Tinker, part of that Tinker to Evers to Chance. Evers to Chance. Combo for the Cubs, the pitch. 165. Base hit, first one of the game for t either team. Tinker's aboard, one out, one on, and now it's going to be Fergie. All right. We're going to see a bunt attempt here. Fergie's a two bunter. It's a 4 1 1. So this is bunted to Marischal. And Marischal fumbles it. Uh, let's check his defense. He fumbles it, but he recovers and makes the play to cash. Almost an error, but they get Fergie by a step, so the sacrifice works. It'll move Tinker to second base with two outs. Now it's Biggio with a chance to drive home the first run of the game. Marischal, the stretch, the delivery. 4.55, and it's a struck him out. Marischal with a dead fish change up. Biggio way out in front, and that's going to end the inning. But there is a hit <laughs> and a base runner. After three, we're scoreless. Fergie Jenkins now top of the order. Cash, Gordon, and Charleston, lefty, righty, lefty, the pitch. 346. That's hit to left. Tim Raines back a few steps, but he's got room. And there's one down. Joe Gordon now. Fergie winds and deals. 162. Base hit for Joe Gordon. First of the game for set number seven. One out, one on. Here comes Charlie. Oscar Charleston. Double play depth for the infield. The pitch. 262. And a base hit for Charleston. This goes into right field. Drops in front of Beltron. Gordon's going to third. There's going to be runners at the corners with one out for Albert Bell. Fergie's still looking for a double play ball. The pitch. 541. Hey, struck him out on the broccoli cauliflower medley with a little bit of nacho cheese. Yes. Men at the corners now for Cronin. Joe is 0 for 1. The pitch from Fergie is a 352. Got a strikeout chance, or a called strike chance. We have a rare play check. No rare play. It's just called strike on Cronin. He's down in the count on one. The pitch from Fergie, 343. Base hit for Cronin goes to center field. Drops in front of Freddie Lynn. Gordon scores. It's one to nothing. Charleston goes to third, and Cronin's on with his RBI single. Two outs in the fourth, one nothing. Set eight, Marischal's got a one nothing lead. Fergie trying to stop the bleeding. It's Jim Rice, Charleston at third, Cronin at first. Two men out, the pitch. 522. 
is gonna be trouble. This is a power chart check. Our first of the game. And it's to center field. Oscar Charles, I'm sorry, excuse me. Uh, Freddie Lynn is on the run. 315 is a 29. Fergie's adjustment is a minus four, so it's a 25. That's a base hit for Rice. Scoring is Charleston, it's 2 0. Cronin stops at second. And now it's Adrian Beltre. The thing about these lineups, it doesn't get any easier. Beltre up with two on and two outs. The pitch. 141. That's popped up. George Kell will take it for out number three. And that'll retire the side. But they get two on four hits. They leave two. And it's a 2-0 lead after three and a half innings. Marischal suddenly has a cushion. Reigns, Beltran, and McGuire. 2-3-4 coming in the fourth. Marischal's pitch is a 4-21. And look at this. It's Cork to center. Going to be trouble. We got a power chart check here, too. On the run is Charleston. 5-65 is a 14 Minus eight from Marichal makes it a six. And that's a base hit for Reigns. So Tim Reigns is aboard, and I think we're going to send him. Um, oh, the hold rating here is a minus two for Marichal. Reigns' base stealing is a seven. That knocks him to a five. But Munson's arm is a plus two, so... That will negate it. Grab our stolen base chart. We got to send Timmy Reigns. Uh, I think I said he's a seven. Yep, he's a stealing seven. And he's going. Two to nine and 12. Um, oh, wait a minute. There we go. Uh, so he steals it. It's a seven. He steals second. So Reigns is under the throw from Munson to Gordon. And he's on second. Here's Beltran. Marichal's next pitch. A 451. I struck him out on a big bender. One down. McGuire up now. He goes deep. We're tied. Marichal the stretch. The pitch to Mac. 323. Hey, struck out McGuire for the second time on the gas. Baked beans. Two down. George Kell. 0 for 1. The pitch. 655. And yeah, double check this. Okay, one. he walks Kell. And now two on for Lynn. Belt uh Reigns in second. Kell at first. The pitch from Marichal is a 316. And a struck out Freddie Lynn, and he gets the side. After four in the books, we can say it's 2 nothing. set eight. Fergie now looking to right the ship in inning number five. Munson, Marischal, and Cash coming up. 2.54. That's a hot shot at George Kell. He gloves it to his left and throws to McGuire for out number one. Now it's Marischal. Hitting card number one in today's game. 361.
And look at this. Juan Marichal corks one to center. It's going to one-up the wall. Freddie Lynn's got to run it down. Around first, cruising into second. He's got a double. Here's Cash. Norm's 0 for 2. The pitch from Fergie. 651. Rear play check. No. Called strike. Next delivery to Cash. 126. Hey, struck him out on a Fergie Jenkins changeup. Four strikeouts for Fergie. There's two gone in the fifth now. And here comes Joe Gordon. One for two for Gordon. The pitch from Fergie is a 565. This is hit to Craig Biggio. He's up with it and throws to McGuire. And that'll end the fifth. We're halfway through this one. Set seven and Juan Marichal, two. Set eight and Fergie Jenkins, nothing. Yvonne Rodriguez, Joe Tinker, and Fergie Jenkins coming in the bottom of the fifth. A 662 could be a walk, but it's not. R random die is too high. Next delivery. 452. Yay, struck him out. Rodriguez is gone. That's Juan's seventh. Here comes Tinker, who owns one of set eight's two hits on the day. Fergie is on deck. The pitch. 132. That is lined at Beltre for the out. Adrian makes a nice play. And now it's Fergie with two outs and nobody aboard. We're in the bottom of the fifth. It's 2 nothing. Marischal leading Jenkins. The pitch. <clears throat> 252, and he struck him out for number eight in five innings of play. Marischal dominating so far in this one. We go to the sixth, two nothing, set seven. <clears throat> Fergie will face the meat of the order, Charleston, Bell, and Cronin in the sixth. The pitch. 452, that's hit to right. Back a few steps is Beltron, but he's got room, and he makes the catch for out number one. Here's Albert Bell. He's 0 for 2, Fergie kicks and deals. 362, and there's a base hit to right field for Albert Bell, his first of the day. Fergie has now allowed six hits. Only two have crossed the pay station, however. One out, one on for Cronin. Double play depth for the infield. The pitch to Joe. 445. And we have an error check. Got to re-roll our three dice. <clears throat> the two tells us uh, that it's an error check for uh, our catcher, Ivan Rodriguez. And got to check his error rating. It's probably a three. Well, he's a two. All right. So he does fumble it. A one-base error on Yvonne Rodriguez. Everybody's going to be safe. Bell goes to second. Cronin safe at first. And now Jim Rice. Double play depth for the infield. The pitch from Fergie to Rice. 6-12. Uh, Is to center and deep. Back goes Freddie Lynn, warning track, wall, and it's gone. A three-run bomb for Jim Rice. 
extends Marichal's lead to five to nothing. That's gonna get action cooking in the set eight bullpen. And let's see who we got here. Uh, I think we're gonna get Red Ruffing cooking in the bullpen. His wife's probably not happy that he isn't starting. She was the one who campaigned to get him in the Hall of Fame after his death. So she's doubtless got a lot to say about his usage on this team. Uh, Beltre is up now. It's 5 nothing set 7. Nobody aboard. Fergie's pitch is a 525. And this is going to be hit to right field. Power chart check. Beltron on the run. 663, that's a four. We subtract four, he goes down to a zero. It's a base hit for Beltre. Munson now, one out, one on. Double play depth for the infield. Marischal on deck, the pitch. 225. And this is going to be... Extra bases for Munson. Holding at third will be Beltre on the double. Munson's got a two base hit and here comes Marischal. That's gonna do it for Fergie. Gonna be Red Ruffing getting the call here. Fergie goes five and a third. Uh, he allows two, four, six, eight, nine hits. Doesn't walk anybody. He struck out four uh, and allowed. Well, we don't know how many earned runs yet, but. It's five runs so far, but we don't know how many earned. Ruffing is on. He and Lefty Gomez were the Yankee aces of the 1930s. This card is from his 39 season when he was 21 and 7 with a 2.93 earned run average. Here's Marischal. The infield is in the pitch to Juan. 360, sorry, 36. And Marischal does it again. Corked inside the right field line. Uh, Beltran has to go run it down. Scoring is Beltre. Scoring is Munson. And a two-run double for Juan Marischal, his second double of the game. All right, Norm Cash coming up. You can't stop this set seven. They're on fire. Five run six, the pitch. Four sixteen. That is a line drive at Joe Gordon. Everybody's gonna hold. I'm sorry, line drive at Craig Biggio. Now it's Joe Gordon batting. And the delivery. Three thirty four. Base hit for Gordon. This will score Marischal from second base. And it's a six run inning. Eight to nothing. The romp, as my old Fayette teacher Ed Olson would say, the romp is on. <laughs> you gotta laugh at your own stuff. Here's Oscar Charleston. Ruffing's pitch to him. 6-11, and this is not good. It's a power chart check to center field. When it rains, it pours. And not Tim Raines either. 
three, eleven is a twenty-five. Uh Minus three in relief makes him a 22. It's a base hit. Stopping at second will be Joe Gordon. Coming up now is Bell. Pitch to Albert. 344. Top to first base. McGuire takes it himself. And that'll retire the side. Six runs on seven hits. They leave two. Uh, you can close the book on Fergie. He allowed um, seven runs, six of which were earned. Uh, not a good outing for Fergie, as it turned out, although his start was excellent. Marischal will face the top of the order in the set 8-6th. He's up 8 nothing. Pitch to Biggio, 6.56, and he walks Biggio. So there's a good start for set eight. They got a long way to go. Rain's coming up. Marischal delivers, 3.64, and this one is... Line drive at Cronin. One down. Beltron. Biggio still at first. 662. That's a ball. Ball one. Next delivery is a 223. And that is going to be. Extra bases for Beltron. It's going to get into that right center field gap and split Rice and Charleston. Biggio is not going to try and score because they're down by eight, but Beltron's got a one-out double. Here's McGuire. They could use a long one from Big Mac. Marischal, the stretch, the delivery, 231. I'm looking at this right. Yeah, I guess I am. Um, all right, that's a foul ball. Here's McGuire's next pitch. Marischal delivers 461. Hey, struck out McGuire for the third time. That's the hat trick. Nine strikeouts for Marischal. Now they're going to need a two-out hit to plate those runs. Marischal, the stretch, the delivery to George Kell. 165. Ground ball, Joe Gordon to his left. Gloves it, throws to Cash, and they get Kell. And they turn him away with nothing and like it. Spalding. We go to the seventh. It's 8 nothing. set 7 over set 8. Cronin, Rice, and Beltre coming up in the 7th. Ruffing kicks and deals. 441. Rare play check. No. It's a called strike with the pitch. 523. That is hit on the ground to... George Kelly gloves it by the bag and fires to McGuire for out number one. Jim Rice, <clears throat> two for three with a big bomb last inning. Pitch from Ruffing is a 2 1 6, and that's a base hit for Jim, three for four. One on, one out, and Beltre coming up. He's one for three, roughing the stretch and the delivery, 566. That's hit to right. 
into the gap in right center is Beltran. He makes a nice running catch. Retreating to first is Rice, and that'll bring up Munson. Marischal would be next. Pitch from Thurman is a 622. And that's to left. And it's going to be Reigns on the run. 266 is a 96. Minus Ruffings 3 is a 93. And it's extra bases for Munson. All right. So, yeah, they're going to send Rice. Why not? Why not? Two outs. You're up eight. Why not? When they nail you with hit by pitches, it'll only hurt for a minute. All right, so they're going to send Rice. They're waving him around third. His running is a four. Check Beltron's arm. He's a zero. Two to six. Jimmy's going to slide in safely. And he's in there. It's a run scoring double for Munson. And nine to nothing. Team seven over team eight. And Marischal comes to the plate looking for another double. Roughing the stretch, the delivery is a 265, it's a 26, and he strikes him out. So that'll do it, but they get another run on a pair of hits. And we go to the seventh inning stretch with your score, team set seven, nine, set eight, nothing. Marischal throwing a gem, a three-hitter. It's Lynn, Yvonne Rodriguez, and Joe Tinker coming up in inning number seven. If anybody gets on, probably a pinch hitter for roughing. 434. That is hit on the ground to Joe Cronin. Cuts it off from going up the middle. Plants and throws to Norm Cash for out number one. Here's Rodriguez. 0 for 2. Pitch. 4.43. To right field. Jim Rice coming in and makes the catch for out number two. Here's Joe Tinker. 1 for 2. The pitch. Is yeah, strike three swinging. Tinker didn't come close to that breaking ball. Ten strikeouts for Marischal. We go to the eighth. Set seven has nine. Set eight has what the little boy shot at. Nothing. All right, so Ruffing is going to do one more, or try to. Going to get some action going in the set eight bullpen, because why not? Tony Mullane, Mullaney, Milani, Mullaney, Milani. Let's call the whole thing off. He's warming up in the bullpen. Norm Cash, 0 for 4, collar going. The pitch from Ruffing is a 333. And that one is rolled toward Craig Biggio. He makes the play to McGuire for out number one. Joe Gordon now, two for four. Roughing delivers, 262. And he walks him. One on, one out. Oscar Charleston coming up. Charlie is two for four. The pitch. 142, and he walks Charleston. 
This might be his last batter. Mulaney, Milani, Maloney, Milani. Let's call the whole thing off. Uh, is ready in the bullpen. Albert Bell is one for four. They're playing for a double play. The pitch, 554. And they ground it to Mark McGuire. He gloves it to his right, fires to Joe Tinker for one, and the relay to Red Ruffing covering is in time for a 3-6-1 rally-killing, soul-crushing double play. And we go to the bottom of the eighth. It's still 9 to nothing. Marischal is going to face a pinch hitter for Red Ruffing. And then the top of the order with Biggio and Reigns. It's going to be Andre Dawson batting for Ruffing. The Hawk. So Dawson will lead off the bottom of the eighth. Against Marischal. The pitch. <coughs> this one is hit on the ground to Norm Cash. He's going to take it to first himself for out number one. Now it's Biggio. Marischal kicks and deals. Throwing a shutout. Only a three hitter going. We're in the eighth. 161 is to left. Albert Bell is there, and there's two down. And now Tim Raines. Marischal winds and deals. 6-12. Raines hits this one on the ground to Joe Gordon. He gloves it and throws to Cash, and that'll retire the side in the eighth. Marischal with a three-hit dominant performance. We go to the ninth. Tony Mullaney, 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 Mullaney. Let's call the whole thing off. Is your new pitcher. Pitching for the Browns in 1883. <coughs> Cronin one for four. Mullaney, Mullaney, the pitch. A 154. This is grounded to Joe Tinker. He's up with it and throws to McGuire for out number one. Jim Rice. Big day for Jim. Three for four. Four ribbies. The pitch. Uh, and there's a ball and a chance for a rare play. No rare play. Next pitch from Mulaney, 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 Mulaney. Uh, 662, and this is trouble. This is hit to right. Jim Rice going the other way. Power chart check. 561 is an 18. And we do not adjust, and it's a base hit for Rice. He's four for five. Beltre up now. One for four. The pitch. 366 is going to be a base hit. Uh, Rice is going to stop at second. And Munson comes up. Two on with one out. Pitch. 241. Tapper in front of home plate. Pounced on by Yvonne Rodriguez. He fires to Tinker for one, and the relay to McGuire is in time for a rally killing, soul crushing 263 double play. 
And that'll take us to the bottom of the ninth with your score set seven, nine. Set eight, nothing. Marischal looking to finish his three hit whitewash. Beltran, McGuire, and Kell, the three, four, five hitters coming up in the ninth. Carlos, one for three, the pitch. Uh, walked him. Nope, didn't walk him. Next delivery. Six forty-three. Hey, struck him out on the gas. Eleven strikeouts from Marischal and a dominant performance here today. McGuire. He's got the hat trick. He's going for the golden sombrero. The pitch. Two thirty-six. Base hit for McGuire. That's the fourth hit allowed by Marischal. George Kell. Double play depth for the infield. Kell is 0 for 2. The pitch from Marischal. 116. Base hit for Kell. Drops in front of Rice. McGuire is going to run to third. And they've got men at the corners with a chance to bust up the shutout with Freddie Lynn. Double play depth through the infield. Lynn is 0 for 3. Marischal, the stretch, the delivery. 261. Chance for a rare play. Nope. Next delivery. 612. And this might be your double play. Ground ball, Joe Gordon. He goes to Cronin for one in the relay to cash is in time for a rally killing, soul crushing, and game ending. Four, six, three, double play. Marischal gets his shutout. All right, let's give you the totals. For the visiting and victorious, team number seven, nine runs, 16 base hits, and they committed no errors. It's team eight, no runs on five hits, and they committed one error. Winning pitcher is Juan Marichal. He allowed five hits, Walked two, struck out 11. And I am naming him the most valuable player of the game. Losing pitcher is Fergie Jenkins, who couldn't quite keep up with Marischal, but not too many people could have. When you shut out this lineup on five hits, you're doing something. Hope you enjoyed this demo of our two new sets uh, released for... Here's the pitch baseball. Uh, again, if you would like the most recent flyer with ordering information for Here's the Pitch, send me an email at berglin.curt at yahoo.com. And I'm putting my email in the description for this video in case you didn't get that. There's also information there about how to find out about channel membership. In the description for this video, I provide you a link and you can check that out as well. Having a good time with Here's the Pitch Baseball. Plenty more on the way. Hope you have a good day, my friends. So long, everybody.